Whosoever desires constant success must change his conduct with the times. These wise words from the famous Renaissance philosopher Niccolo Machiavelli still have a lot to say to us today. It's important to be able to change with the times and adapt, especially when it comes to personal ties and self-worth. Have you ever been in the background and forgotten even though you put your whole heart into a task? Or felt the pain of being ignored by people you care about? This video was made just for you. Join us as we reveal nine important steps that come from old Stoic knowledge and are meant to help you find your way and become a valued part of the lives of those around you. Step 1. Value Yourself by Machiavelli and the smart way to be flexible. Every trip starts with a single step, and the first step to being respected by others is to value yourself. Marcus Aurelius, the stern Roman ruler, said, You have power over your mind, not over outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. But what does it really mean to value yourself? Being self-aware. Know what your skills and flaws are. You should think about who you are, what you can offer, and how you can improve. Self-care. Show your body and mind respect by taking a moment to relax, doing something you enjoy, or just getting enough sleep. As the Persian author Hafez said, Ever since happiness heard your name, it has been running through the streets trying to find you. Make sure you give happiness a chance to catch up by prioritizing self-care. Setting limits. It's important to set personal limits, know when to say no, and make sure others know and accept your limits. Remember that putting your health first is not selfish, it's necessary. Constant growth. Always try to be the best person you can be. The great philosopher Seneca said, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. This means putting money into your own growth picking up new skills, and seeing more of the world. When you really value yourself, you give off an air of self-respect that others can feel. This sets a standard for how others should treat you. Every other relationship you have is shaped by how you treat yourself. What you think is important. Step 2. The value of not being able to do something. On your sense of self-worth, other people will do the same. In a world where technology is always connecting people, the art of not being available might not make sense. Still, not being available can be a strong way to show how valuable you are. Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, All external events are beyond our control. We should accept whatever happens calmly and without emotion. This shows how important it is to not get caught up in the urge to do everything right away. Why is not being available an art? Let's look into it more. Time is valuable. Your time is a gift, and not everyone or everything needs it right away. You show that your time is valuable by being carefully available. Step 3. The magnetic pull from ancient times is a mystery. He said, Don't be satisfied with stories of how things have gone with others. Unfold your myth. This means that you shouldn't just be available all the time like everyone else. Make up your own story. Making people want something. Think about it. The things we really want are often the ones we can't have or that seem just out of reach. People automatically think more highly of you when you're not always available at short notice. Personal balance. Being available all the time can be tiring. In order to keep your life in balance, you choose when to participate. It gives you time to relax, think, and get ready to be at your best when you're available, teaching others to respect each other. When you value your own time, you show others how to do the same. Respecting each other can be the basis for relationships that are deep and important. Marcus Aurelius said, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself. Step 4. Let them invest, the balance of giving and taking in ancient times. You think that being carefully available isn't about playing games. 
It's about valuing your time and making sure that other people do too. Remember folks, that the comment below that has been saved has some great Amazon book suggestions that are connected to this subject. Dive deeper and give yourself more power. Step 5. Stoic Prioritizing of Oneself The Mysteries of Mystery Whether it's the mysterious smile in the Mona Lisa or the secrets of old civilizations that no one has figured out, mysteries have always been interesting to people. There is something alluring about the unknown. When applied to relationships between people, this idea has a special power. The words you do not say are the loudest, the famous Persian author Hafez said. Why should someone keep things a secret? Let's look into protecting your identity. In a world where sharing too much has become the norm, keeping some parts of your life private can help you remember what makes you special. The Stoic philosopher Seneca said, We suffer more in our imagination than in reality. If you share too much, people may misunderstand you and make up stories about you that aren't true. Adding depth. Just like an iceberg only shows a small part of itself above water, letting people see only a small part of your whole personality can make conversations deeper. People will be interested in learning more about the depths you offer. Making ties stronger. You're not playing games when you slowly show parts of yourself over time. You're building depth and expectation. It helps them remember and value the time they spent getting to know you. Let yourself be silently drawn by the strange pull of what you really love. Step 6. What's wrong with distance? People today want things right away and have short attention spans, so it's easy for them to judge quickly based on small bits of information. Being mysterious makes sure that people who stick around to get to know you are really interested in who you are. Marcus Aurelius says, the best revenge is to be unlike the person who hurt you. In a world where everyone is trying to get their secrets out, be the calm, mysterious person Make your depth your strength. Because of the importance of their investment and the work they put in, there is a great concept in life that speaks deeply to people. What we work for is important to us. The Greek philosopher. Seneca, a Roman philosopher, said, It's not that things are hard that we dare not venture. It's that we dare not venture that they are hard. Step 7. Why Stoics don't always start. This idea can be beautifully applied to interactions with other people. Figuring out how to let others invest in you can change everything. Let's figure it out. When someone takes the time to understand, support or spend time with you, they subconsciously give you more value. It's like planting a seed and watching it grow. The gardener feels a deep connection to the tree, which keeps the scales balanced. It's important to be there for others, but giving all the time without letting them receive can throw things off. By letting them invest in you, you keep the balance. Step 8. Happiness is the secret weapon that has been used for thousands of years. Deepening connections. When someone invests their time or emotions in you, they're not just spending money, they're weaving their journey into yours. This makes connections that last longer and are deeper. Epic teachers said, Be careful whom you associate with. It is human to imitate the habits of those with whom we interact. Let those close to you invest, and you'll form bonds that are based on deep mutual respect. Building self-worth. Letting others invest in you is also a statement of your worth, that you are valuable, deserving, and deserving of love and attention. As Hafez says, you are your own barrier. Rise from within it, recognize your worth, and let others see it too. To end this section, Marcus Aurelius says, tired of arguing about what a good man should be, be one by understanding your worth and all. Step nine, the strength of a stoic in leaving. Five, recognizing your own worth. Real self-respect comes from knowing and putting our own needs first, 
before looking for approval from others. We must first accept our own worth. As the wise Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, he who does not value himself cannot value anything or anyone. Let's look into the details of self-prioritization. Understanding our worth isn't about being cocky or narcissistic. It's about realizing that we have value in and of ourselves. You were born with wings. Why prefer to crawl through life? We have the power to soar, but it begins with recognizing our capabilities and potential. Set healthy boundaries. Boundaries aren't meant to keep people out. They're meant to protect our mental, emotional, and physical health. Ending, taking charge of your worth. We can keep assumed problems from weighing us down by setting clear limits. When we put ourselves first, we're not making other people less important. Instead, when we make sure our own cup is full, we can give more generously, creating a healthy cycle of reciprocity. As the Persian poet Hafez said, even after all this time, the sun never says to the earth, you owe me. Look what happens with a love like that. It lights up the whole sky. Resonating with the right people. When you put yourself first, you send out a frequency that is in tune with people who truly value and respect you. This frequency acts as a filter, making sure that your close circle is made up of honest, loving and helpful people. Epictetus once said, Know who you are first, and then dress accordingly. Then, before you look for love and recognition from the world, make sure you give it to yourself first. 6. Mind and heart independence. Not making someone the center of your universe. In our search for love, approval or attention, it's easy to make someone the center of our universe. But it's wise to keep your sense of independence even in the closest relationships. This doesn't mean pushing loved ones away. Instead, it means improving our own lives to bring more to our relationships. Understanding demand through scarcity is a basic principle of human nature. Developing personal passions, having interests, hobbies, or passions outside of relationships is important. It gives you a sense of purpose and makes you more interesting. Let yourself be silently drawn by the strange pull of what you really love. It will not lead you astray. Being yourself. It's great to share your life with someone, but it's also important to have your own experiences and stories. As Marcus Aurelius said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By creating a rich inner world, you become more appealing to those around you. The art of relationship dynamics is about weaving lives together while still keeping some independence. As Hafez says in a beautiful poem, even after all this time, the moon never says to the sun, you light up my life. They shine when it's their time. To wrap up this point, it's important to remember Epictetus's wise words. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding thine own. 7. Rebalancing communication dynamics. Any long-lasting relationship, whether it's a friendship or a romantic one, depends on a delicate balance of give and take. If the scales tip too much on one side, it can make the other person feel undervalued or taken for granted. Recognizing the pattern. If you're always the one reaching out, setting up dates, or starting conversations, you may be unintentionally making the other person feel comfortable. The power of silence. Sometimes, silence speaks louder than words. If you hold back and don't start conversations all the time, you make room for the other person to speak up. Silence is the language of God, all else is poor translation. In relationships, silence can often mean a longing or realizing of someone's worth. Re-establishing connection. This isn't a game, it's a real attempt to get both sides of the relationship working again. If they care and see that the patterns have changed, they'll probably try to reach out. According to Marcus Aurelius, all you need to make your life happy 
is to believe in your own worth and let the relationship rebalance itself. To find the right balance, keep in mind that this approach should be about self-reflection and understanding, not manipulation. As wise epic teachers once said, know who you are first and then dress accordingly. Figuring out your relationship patterns and making sure they show how much you value yourself is what this section is all about. Starting a conversation is a sign of care and connection, but it's important to make sure it goes both ways. Relationships are built on respect and understanding. 8. Developing inner bliss and taking charge of your happiness. Often, we connect our happiness with things outside of ourselves, like other people, things we own, or the way things are going in our lives. But the key to true, long-lasting happiness lies within us. By taking charge of our joy, we not only give ourselves power, but we also become a source of positivity for others. Understanding the source, we put too much of our happiness on other people. We think, if only this person would act this way, I'd be happier. But, as one of my favorite teachers once said, we are troubled not by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens. Our happiness isn't based on other people, it's based on how we think about things. A great Persian poet named Hafez said, I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. Sometimes the most profound joys can be found in the simplest things, like the sound of leaves rustling, the song of a bird, or the smile of a loved one. Removing the focus from outside approval, Marcus Aurelius writes in his meditations, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. If we keep tying our happiness to outside approval or how other people see us, we'll be let down. Real happiness comes from within and lasts for itself. Being in the middle of your own happiness makes you an unintentional source of happiness for others. When you do things from your soul, you feel a river moving in you, a joy. If you show genuine happiness, people will be drawn to your energy and make you a priority in their life without even trying. As we come to the end of this section, remember that while it's normal to look for happiness in other people and things, the real and permanent happiness comes from within. Take care of your inner garden and watch it grow changing your life and the lives of those around you. 9. The Power of Departure – Knowing When to Walk Away Sages, poets and philosophers have always talked about how letting go can change things. Sometimes walking away isn't about giving up. It's about realizing our worth and standing up for our inner peace. Knowing your worth is important. Seneca said, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. Life is a lesson, and knowing your worth is part of that lesson. If you keep finding yourself in situations where you're undervalued, it could mean that you're in a place or with people who don't value you. Understanding the power of letting go, staying in relationships or situations where you feel unappreciated, can wear you down emotionally. Let go of your plans. The world is beautiful without your pushing. Believe in love. Trusting in the universe's plan and being open to the unknown can lead to new chances. If you always feel tired, if your efforts don't seem to be appreciated, or if you've talked about how you feel and nothing has changed, it might be time to rethink your place in that relationship or situation. When you're looking for your true north, going away isn't just a physical act. It's a metaphor for finding what really speaks to your soul. As Puffers says, stay close to anything that makes you glad you are alive. Surround yourself with places and people that make you feel good and understand who you are. Remember that even though leaving something can be scary, it's often the first step toward becoming more like your real self. The world tends to fill in the blanks, and when you let go of what doesn't serve you anymore, you make room for what does. Thank you for going on this journey with me as I look into self-worth, value and understanding. 
Each of us is our own universe with our own stories, battles, dreams, and fates. As Marcus Aurelius said, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. I really hope that this video has made you think differently and made you want to learn more about your self-worth.